with more companies like MicroStrategy and Tesla buying Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies for their companies, what should us as investors expect to see on the financial statements related to these cryptocurrency purchases? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John, and although I have 18 years of experience in the accounting world and was also given a licensed CPA from the state of California, I just want to remind you that this video is all for entertainment purposes only. I am not your accountant, and this is not accounting advice. So under the US, all accounting for companies is governed under the US generally accepted accounting principles, otherwise known as GAAP. Now the body that primarily puts out these rules is a body called the Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB. And the FASB has rejected many attempts by companies asking them to have formal rules around how companies should account for cryptocurrencies on their financial statements citing that there just isn't enough companies for them to create new rules, at least at this point in time. So as companies started to get interest into cryptocurrencies, they had to have a way to account for this on their financial statements. So a bunch of CPAs got together under the American Institute of CPAs, and they put out guidance that is essentially meant to be a recommendation for how companies should account for cryptocurrencies. So the recommendation was that cryptocurrencies should be treated like other intangibles under the accounting guidance ASC 350, which is supposed to cover intangibles, goodwills, and other. So under ASC 350, bitcoins and cryptocurrencies would be accounted like an intangible. So other examples of intangible items are items such as patents, copyrights, licensing, and trademarks. So the accounting guidance for intangibles under ASC 350 is actually pretty simple and pretty clear. In this scenario that the cryptocurrencies that the company purchases goes up in value, the company literally does nothing. However, if the value of the cryptocurrencies that the company is holding goes down in value, the company is required to record an impairment loss. And this impairment loss will hit the company's income statement. The only time the company can take credit for a gain in the value of their cryptocurrencies is when they decide to sell the cryptocurrency. And that's when the company can record a gain and have a benefit in their earnings. So using an example where a company bought a cryptocurrency for $10,000, if that cryptocurrency drops to 8,000, the company is required to record a $2,000 loss in their income statement. And if that cryptocurrency turns around and goes from 8,000 up to 50,000, the company would still not record any additional income or gains on that cryptocurrency. That is until the company decides to sell their position. So that's the general rule for how companies should account for cryptocurrencies on their financial statements. There is one exception I just want to point out is that if the company is a registered investment company, then in that case, the company would mark up their fair value of their cryptocurrencies on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. But that's a small exception. And both Tesla and MicroStrategy does not fall under the definition of an investment firm. So for the most part, you would only expect companies to record losses on their cryptocurrency holdings in their income statement. That is unless they decide to sell some of their positions. So that's it. Now you know how most companies plan to account for cryptocurrencies on their financial statements. I'll see you guys in the next video.